Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to make this super easy warped text logo in Illustrator. You can either use this technique on its own or you can use your logo on designs and other artwork to really make them stand out. Well, let's get started. Once you have Illustrator opened up, create a new file. I like to use 2000 by 2000 pixels and 300 ppi for detailed work, but you could use something like 1080 by 1080 and 150 ppi for smaller file sizes. Next I press T to type my text, increase the size by holding alt shift and dragging. For my font I like to use a curvy sans serif font since it works best for warped text and rounding out corners. I then select my text, go to object and click expand so that now we can move the points around by pressing A to select our direct selection tool. Here I notice that this curve on the N and the K is a bit repetitive, so I select these points here and delete them by pressing backspace. Then I press P to select my pen tool and connect these two points. You can select your points by holding Ctrl and while holding Alt, you can drag to convert them into a smooth curve. Holding Shift also helps lock the arms on the X or Y axis. I repeat this process on the rest of the letters and adjust the text to my liking. Once you've adjusted the letters, go over to Effect and Warp. Here you're free to use any of these effects for different looks, but I like to use the wave effect to keep it a bit more legible. And every time that you adjust your text, you might notice that the outline here does not match your new adjustments, so to fix that, go over to Object and click Expand Appearance. Then I expand my toolbar here and select my free transform tool, or you can just press E to select it and while holding shift, I adjust the perspective. Once again, I go over to my effects and add a bit more distortion. I change the fill color to white and add a stroke. And when you zoom in, you may notice that the stroke on each individual letter will overlap the ones next to it. And you could either choose to keep that like I did on this design I made, or you could go over to object, compound path, and select make to clean it up and add a smoother stroke. From here I change the color and make further adjustments to the letters so they have a nice flow. Once you're done, select all of your objects, press alt and shift to duplicate your object and move it below your text. Change the fill and stroke color to black to create a simple 3D or drop shadow effect. Now I select my pen tool, change the fill color to none and the stroke to white. And with this I'll just create some curves along the edges of the letters to give it a more bubble letter look. Also I try to make sure they're all similar in distance from the edge. I then select my width tool and make the ends sharper by clicking and dragging. After that I add a little bit more warp, bring in some extra text, and now you can select your gradient tool and click on your text, rotate it upwards by holding shift to lock it in place, adjust the points, and choose whatever colors you want. And from here you're pretty much done. You can now choose to add some extra objects, like some stars or this oval thing, I don't, I don't know what that's called. But to make this, just create two ovals, one in the middle and one tilted surrounding it. Make sure you scale them so that they're barely overlapping. Now click and drag over both, press shift M to select your shape builder tool. Now click on the smaller circle and any overlapping parts. Now delete them and you're left with this nice ring that you can place around your text. If you are going to use this, I suggest you use a solid color on your text or even white because I think a grading looks kind of bad on it. That's just me, I don't know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful at all, feel free to like and subscribe. I also have more Photoshop and Blender tutorials you can check out on my channel. I post on my other socials, which will be on screen and in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I just realized I could just use this warp tool to move the text around. There's no way. <sighs> I just won't put that in the video. This video could have been like 10 seconds long. Fuck!